All right, guys, for adjusting these headlights, the process is pretty simple. On each of these JK lights, on the, let's see, it's about the two o'clock position on the driver's side, and it's about the 10 o'clock position on the passenger side, there's another T15 uh, Torx screw. That screw, when screwed in or out, will adjust the uh, elevation of your headlight, so up or down. And let's see, if you screw in, it's gonna push the headlight down. If you screw out, it's gonna bring the headlight up. That's the only adjustment you have on these JK headlights. Uh, but it's a pretty important one. And please, when you install new headlights, you need to make sure you adjust your headlights right away. Uh, driving with uh, brighter lights does not mean you have to blind oncoming traffic. These lights are designed in such a way with a very defined cutoff that allows you to adjust that to get just the right height where you can see well, but not blind others. Now I use the standard method of headlight adjustment, which is a two inch drop over a span of 25 feet. That's the starting point. If you find you're still getting flashed by oncoming drivers, you may need to lower it just a little bit. It, a lot depends on how high up your vehicle is. The higher you are, the more drop you're really gonna need. Uh, but uh, for me, that two inch over 25 feet seems to be a good spot. And that's generally the industry standard. So how this works is uh, you've got this uh, T15 there. You need one of those skinny Torx drivers to get in there. Uh, if you wanna do it with the grill on, or you can do like I do and cheat, just leave the grill off and then you can use any Torx bit. Uh, the same one I use to install the headlights fits in there fine with the grill off. It's just a little tight squeeze right there. So what I do is I, I find a flat spot with a wall uh, where you can back up 25 feet. I usually go to the back of a grocery store, look for a nice level spot behind the store, nice big brick wall. I roll up as close as I can get to the wall and I put uh, duct tape, in this case, black Gorilla tape, uh, at the uh, top the top of the tape goes at the cutoff area on each headlight and then centered, there's that little transitional diagonal. Uh, I put that in the middle. So uh, that's what I do. Then I roll back 25 feet and I look at how my lights have a line. Now in this case, I installed them and adjusted them way down so that when I drove to the grocery store five miles away, uh, I wasn't blinding traffic on my way. So I wanted to err on the side of caution and rather limit my visibility uh, than blind everybody. So I intentionally had them lower and you see how much lower I had them. Uh, but now that I'm 25 feet back, I can raise up and you see me here starting, raising that up on the passenger side uh, to the bottom of the tape mark. Now it's a two inch piece of tape. So if I started with it at the top, uh, now at the bottom is two inch lower. So uh, it's a really easy guide for me. So uh, all the way up to the bottom of that and then the driver's side, I'm gonna raise up until it lines up with that as well. And then that's it. So my lights are now adjusted. And again, I'm gonna make sure that I'm cognizant of the fact that if I'm still being flashed, it means my lights are probably still a little bright or maybe do it three inches over 25 feet. But just experiment and know that you gotta find a starting point. But whatever you do, go adjust them at least to something. And I would recommend starting there. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Uh -huh.